The speaker of this session is John Hardy from Indonesia. John is a jewelry designer who combines creative bamboo architecture with alternative education, focusing on the issue of sustainable future. John, his wife Cynthia, and their company John Hardy Jewelry are known for School for Life or Green School and Bamboo Reforestation Project in Bali, Indonesia. Please welcome John Hardy. I'm really happy to be in Thailand, happy to be in Bangkok, and I will be moving here because it is my favorite place in the world as soon as we run out of gasoline. <laughs> Other than that, it's heaven on earth. I guess the most important, important part I should do first, and I'd like to invite my wife and partner, Cynthia Hardy, to come up here. I'm a Canadian, and Canadians are not born with all the rights of Thai men. So a Canadian man is only as good as the woman who stands beside him. I've spent a life working with this woman beside me and together after we left the jewelry business, we decided to put something back and we're going to show you some pictures of it. And parents with children tend to be focused on school they often lose that focus as soon as the kids graduate, graduate, but maybe they're spending all that extra money on traveling. So we made a school for these two young ladies, Karina, Kiara, come on up from behind the lamp, and Kiara. And the day that 108 children came to the school, was the day that everything changed forever. Because once you're there and you hear people singing and children celebrating the possibility of a green school, you know that you will be in this incredible business of green and schooling for the rest of your life. Thank you. What can we promise the children what can we promise the grandchildren? And when we started doing the green school, we went into the conversation of what can we promise them? So we decided to choose materials, practices, and techniques that would show them the road to a greener future. Bamboo. In Java, it attracts snakes. In Bali, the king of Ubud used 25,000 sticks of bamboo in his latest cremation for his father. They spent almost a year building bamboo structures and they burned them up in two days. So bamboo is really the future and the idea that you have to be poor is really not something we can continue to believe. It's the most incredible material. It grows, it grows so, so quickly. The bamboo that's sitting inside the bamboo that's been harvested will one day be the size of that bamboo. And it won't be 20 years, it won't be 30 years. It will be coming out of the ground as a sprout in, in, it will be coming out of the ground as a sprout in seven years, and it will be harvested in 10. This bamboo seedling garden represents millions of bamboo timbers in the next 50 years. It comes out of the ground like ground, like a train. On December 20th, I left my house 
And, when I came, and two months later, I had a bamboo shoot as high as a coconut tree. And the coconut trees at my house are old and very high. It's undeniably beautiful. <laughs> it can be extremely large. And it's strong. It's very long. And in a world of two meter by one meter grid and buildings that have to fit into that, you can really break all the rules with bamboo because long is what it's all about. It's a story about treating. And the day the world changed for me was the day I, I learned from a woman named Linda Garland who's been beating the bamboo drum for many, many years. And she told me, John, if you treat it, it will last forever. And so that's what we do. And there's a salt in Salt Lake City. Many salts, I suspect. But there's one called borax. And you can eat it with a spoon. You don't necessarily want to. But you soak the bamboo in borax for a week. And all of a sudden, you have a permanent material. This is not bamboo's friend. Bamboo is a grass. And this is the powder post beetle. And traditionally, and I suspect in much of the present bamboo production, we're simply going the old Dow chemical way. We're killing him. Borax doesn't kill him. In some ways, he becomes like a tourist in Mexico City. He eats some food, he gets diarrhea, he goes home. <laughs> so he's a good guy, but he doesn't like the bamboo anymore, especially when the borax is in it. Does it last? Well, I believe that if you keep the roof on it, you will have a bamboo building in 100 years. This bit of bamboo was built in a bamboo factory in the city of London in 1880. It comes in green, although the green goes away. It comes in the most beautiful blonde, and it also comes in black. There aren't many manufacturing processes that lend themselves to such incredible photos. It's a very common material. I've had the pleasure of being almost the only buyer of bamboo in Indonesia for the last few years, and it's a great place to be. We have bought tens of thousands of sticks of bamboo. And it becomes a plethora of materials. This is a bamboo splitter. These are split bamboo. And when you make them into bundles, you end up with something called a lidi. And a lidi is the name for a broom in Indonesian. And I, I think they probably have them in Thailand. It's basically a bundle that you sweep with. And the lidi has changed our idea about bamboo building. It creates the possibility of making bamboo into incredibly beautiful curves. <laughs>